Hello and welcome back to Digimon Adventure Postgame. <clears throat> Last time, remember, we met with um, Takado from Tamers, and now I have a strong feeling we're going to be meeting someone from Frontier. So, let's get into it with Dragon Warrior Kaiser Greymon. Taichi and Agumon continue as the Black Shadow commanded. How long are we gonna have to keep doing this? What does that black thing want with us? Well, we've got to stop it, whatever it's doing. Let's look for clues. There's someone here! You're back! Yeah, meet Frontier. Hmm? Is he talking to us? Play me for a fool, huh? Well, it's my turn! We have no idea what you're talking about! Agumon, run! Kree! Ah! Alright, wait! Who are you? I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I think you have him mistaken for someone else. Taichi! Get away from there! I'll take him on! It's okay, Hackmon. Those eyes don't look like they want to fight. They look like pretty gentle eyes. Looks like I was wrong then. I'm Takya Kanbara. Sorry for startling you there. Start. I'm Takya Kambara. Sorry for startling you there. A human! A human evolved into a Digimon? Yeah. That's the thing with, um... Frontier. Frontier was, um... Number four in the series. Which, um... Kind of felt like it was... Crossbred with a Super Sentai motif. Like it was, um... Ginga Man. Well, it's kind of like that. Why'd you attack us all of a sudden? Sorry about that. A while back, some human with the same Digimon as you attacked me. There's another one of me? I guess there's a copy of Agamon running around too, huh? Considering what's happened so far, I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, I'm glad we didn't end up fighting each other for some stupid reason. Yeah, I'm glad we avoided that too. I'm guessing you were trapped here too. Wanna help us out? You too, huh? Okay, sure. I like the fact that this game has went the distance and gone throughout just about all of the the franchise's heroes. Or rather, the French yeah, the franchise's stories as well as heroes. Cause you had zero we went from Digimon Adventure, Zero Two, Tamers, and now Frontier. Next will probably be Sabres. <laughs> Because when this game came out, it was like 2013, and... It did about the same thing as Yu-Gi-Oh! did. Just have Yugi go through his crossover with other heroes of Yu-Gi-Oh! besides himself. But they all play cards differently. Why? 
Like it went from dual monsters to five D to five Ds and then V rings. Now Yu-Gi-Oh is one of those series that I just basically lost total interest in because they talk too much. And what I mean by that is they really talk too much. It's like half of the time if you're in, if they're in battle, right? But they have to explain in full context and detail how their strategy worked. I'm like, let's be honest, I don't need to know how you beat me. If you beat me, you beat me. Simple as that. You beat me, you beat me. You don't need to give me a full synopsis on how you beat me. I know. You've beaten me. That is until... I learned of a season zero. Which was really a one-shot, but... Man alive if I if I didn't say I wanted to basically do the following. If they picked up on that premise instead of oh you know this is dual monsters. It's like I understand the fact that it's based off a card game. That's what Digimon That's what Digimon did at one point, you know. Had a trading card game, had to do that, had to do you know. Which is basically what um, Tamered was. It was based off a card game. That was all premise. So, about what you were saying earlier, a human attacked you. Uh, you looked like a middle school student and had an Agamon with him. But when he did, you were probably a Digimon at the time. Yeah, what? A middle school student attacking a Digimon. What kind of what kind of guy was that? Uh, he had a really strong punch. The last person to hit me that hard was the goalkeeper during one of our matches. Wait, you play soccer too? You play? Yeah, I'm in the soccer club. Whoa! I tend to do a lot of heading, so our goalkeeper tends to punch me a lot. Been there, done that. Soccer. Some kind of human martial arts? No, no! <laughs> but like I said, I watched um, a bit of um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero. I thought that to be like the most interesting story ever, even though it was a one-shot. Because it had nothing to do with the goddamn card game. I'm actually glad because at that point in time, I'm like, okay, I'm getting sick and tired of hearing about the cards and this and that. Because, you know, you listen to that so many times, you just tend to get bored of it. And as you can tell, I am very on and off about certain series. If they tend to drag on for more than, say, two seasons, I lose interest. It's not that I don't like the series, it's just rep repetition is... Ugh, it's a thing. And I mean, repetition is such a thing. But 
I mean, whenever I play a video game, I want something different. I want something that can, in its own right, keep me in surprise. And keep everything as fresh as possible. I'll mix it up if need be, but still, you know, keep it fresh and keep it going. It's like, say, Marvel's Avengers or Final Fantasy XIV. You tank in X amount of money just for new content. Like for say a sixty day time card, thirty bucks. That's doable. I can deal with that. Because I'm gonna eventually be on fourteen. Spend some time on that. It's the same thing with um Same thing with Avengers. You keep the content friend, the, the content fresh. I know this is a bit stopped up. So. It's been cold. Around here. Mind you, I'm re I'm recording this around the time that um, it's almost Christmas. So when I put them up, it'll probably be a little after Christmas. But I will be done with this before New Year's. <laughs> but that's my thing. I like things to be, you know, rather fresh when I play something. Hey, who are you? It's not a fake. All right, let's work together. Kinda of hard to follow the IP gauge at times. This boss is a bit different because 
it's not buffing. It's just basically going straight out of tech. Look at this. It's like, why do I get this feeling that I'm playing Dagatom? The last let's play that I was looking at last week was um, Dagatom. I'm looking at Kaiser Greymon. I'm like. Oh shit, that's Hero from <laughs> Tykatana! <laughs> so, oh shit, what are you doing in my What are you doing in my Digimon? What are you doing in my Digimon game, dammit? You don't need to be in my Digimon game. I don't want to see you in my Digimon game. tell with this boss battle is not as bad as the other ones. I mean this this one has been split down the middle. one thing I do like about Digimon over Pokemon. We can call this a win right here. Attack boost, Omega. Oh, that's over. We're done with this one. And now we have to leave Takya. 
We didn't get to see each other for very long, but I learned a lot from you guys. I'm glad I met you. Yeah, it was fun. Talk about soccer. See you, Takya. Yeah, let's meet again. So there's another person here. Well, I'm gonna have to get myself all fired up. And the next time on Digimon Adventure, we're going deeper into the dungeon. And we will probably run into another of the, um, Another one of the heroes in the series. Most likely, Sabers. So stay tuned. More of Digimon Adventure post-game right after this. Thanks so much for watching.